Well, the weather poses a risk for apple growers. If the temperatures dip too low, the crop could die. News 13's Aaron Adelson is live in Henderson County with our team coverage. Aaron, what are the chances there could be damage? Well, there are, several, there are several factors that play into this. The first would be what stage the tree is at. Here you can see the petals there. And then at the end of this branch, it's a little farther along. It's dropped the petals and then would set fruit. The other factors would be how warm or cold it's been and then how long it stays dangerously cold. That's all if it gets too cold. Grew up around it. A fourth generation apple grower, Trey Enlow, knows apples. Those will turn into apples. 28 degree temperatures would prevent that. That is the critical temperature. It, it just is. At 28, it apples at this stage that. could die. And that'll actually be black if, it's, uh, if it has frost damage. In just 30 minutes, 10% of the crop could be wiped out. We're pretty far along. This is one of the later points of, of freeze, not the latest, but one of the later. You've got guys that'll put a significant amount of money into their crop already this year, so a freeze this late would be pretty damaging. And though grows about 100 acres of apples. With this amount of volume, there's, a, there's not a whole lot you can do, so. Really, he can only hope. Yep. <laughs> That's what he'll do. Hope for the best. Good news, a full crop means only 10% of these blooms turning to fruit. And though is optimistic, temperatures won't cause damage. Enlo said he's been more worried about rain. Recent wet weather hasn't allowed pollination to take place, so then you get a tree like this with no blooms on it. We're live in Henderson County, Aaron Adelson, News 13.